Okay, so here's the concept. You take apart a, uh, this was a, what they call, what do they call it? They call it a five and a quarter floppy drive. So we're not talking CD here. This is slightly rearranged from, from how it comes. But you have this, this magnet right here. And as far as I can tell, it's diametric. So half of it's north, half of it's south. And then you're left with these little coils. Okay. And they're all put together, pancake style, perfectly. There's um, two, four, six of them. So they can be wired off in pairs. I, I haven't even closely examined how they're wired, but on the back, you have some channeling. So you could take a, uh, a small um, grinder and grind out your roots um, so that you can you can wire this the way you want of course you would then cut it out and um, from there you would mount it such that this does the spinning now the one problem with that whole scenario is this bearing that comes with it as you can see this top spins when the bottom spins. Okay, and there's nothing to really mount onto this. So I'm not so sure that the bearing would be of real value. But nonetheless, the magnet's probably well matched to this. Now, here's the other thing. Okay, this little unit at 12 volts probably going to have to spin incredibly fast in order like when you put 12 volts to it or whatever it takes as a as a motor um, it's probably very fast so if you spinning this with the wind you're probably going to get a very very minimum voltage and current because you're not spinning it at its engineered speed so either you're happy with a very low voltage output, or um, you you reconfigure this somehow so that your VOT, when it turns, this is offset, so it wouldn't be direct drive, and your VOT would then turn a large wheel, for example, and then it would it would belt down to this. So for every revolution of your VOT this would turn six times or something and then you would get um, some RPM so for example if your VOD is turning at 300 RPM then this is turning at 